guys, this is Jarek the Dragon from Red Dragon Airsoft with another review. Uh, first things first, yes, we changed backgrounds. Uh, how do you guys like this background? Um, second thing, I can't turn off the autofocus, so just kind of, kind of have to deal with that. I know it's kind of annoying, but it works. Um, third thing, I did have a third thing, but it's not going to my head. Anyway. So, this is a review, if you can't see the uh, background on my computer, this is a review of the KJW M700. Um, the box is rather strange, honestly. It's a pretty, just long, thin box. Let me open it up. So yeah, it's nothing too special. Um, so it comes with a standard KJW booklet telling you what they've made, basically. Um, I actually kind of like these. They're kind of cool to flip through. Even though I, if I wanted to see it, I could just look online. Um, it also comes with another booklet telling you how to take it apart, what all parts are what, and yada yada. You shouldn't really have to look at that if you're watching this review. Um, comes with some other things, a speed loading tool to help with the uh, loading up this magazine, Phillips head screwdriver, another tool, and some BBs. Again, we don't really recommend using the BBs that comes with the gun. And in, and of course it comes with the gun. In a typical KJW fashion, it comes in a practically airtight, almost, uh, bag. So, pretty easy to take it out. But this is good for the gun that it comes with these to keep it nice and clean, and overall it's better for it. So, here's the gun. Um, it's a bolt action gas gun. Now I know a lot of you have basically been, well, more or less bugging me, uh, almost to the point of harassment to get a sniper rifle on my site. Hurry and get a sniper rifle. We want a sniper rifle. Well, one, you can stop asking now. Two, we got one right here. It's not spring, it's gas, which I actually prefer. Um, it's overall very comfortable. It's decently long, but that's expected from a gas or from a sniper rifle, because like I said, this is the M700, which is a sniper. And let's get on the actual review. Start of the buttstock here, has some nice rubber to it. Uh, it actually does feel really nice on your shoulder, you'll be using that a lot. Um, the stock is very sturdy ABS plastic, it almost feels like wood, that's how sturdy it is. Um, that's pretty much the whole lower frame of it is ABS plastic, but the actual parts, as in the trigger guard, trigger, and the whole entire barrel, sights, all of this are all metal. That's full metal. Alright, so as I said, it is bolt action. Um, the bolt, again, is metal, and unlike spring bolt actions, the bolt moves pretty easily. Um, it, this is the reason for that is it doesn't actually have to pull a spring back. The spring back. You simply pull it, and the only reason it even comes back is all it's doing is pulling the hammer back, and then once you get to about here, you're loading the next BB into the chamber. So if you can see what I mean by it being pretty loose, uh, here you go. So that's actually a very good thing. It makes it very easy to just kind of flick it open. You can just do it as quickly as possible. So you can shoot and then you can shoot and then just quickly do it and shoot your next target. Um, so like I said, the whole bolt does move, as you can see right here goes back pretty far. Uh, really, you don't even need to go back too far. 
right here, the hammer is back, and then you load the next BB in, and then you'd be ready to fire again. So you really only need to pull it back to about there. So that's a pretty cool thing. Uh, when it is, when it's cocked, if you can see right back here, um, it is not pulled out because it's not cocked right now. But when you cock it, you can see this little piece is pulled out. Then when you pull the trigger, it goes back in. So that is how you can know that it's ready to fire. These sights are pretty standard uh, M700 sights. They're actually really good sights. Um, if you want to, you can still use a scope, though. Uh, these sights come right off, and this piece right here is actually a rail. Uh, as you can see, there's a rail right here. Take these sights off, you're able to use it. Uh, and the front, the front sight does come off as well. Uh, if you had a sight on there before and you tried to use it, with that front sight being on there, you would just see the front sight, and it would be kind of in the way. So you can take that off. However, the sights are fully adjustable. We've actually, I actually found them to be really helpful. Uh, very nice sights. Simple peep in back, post in front. It's actually, um, you wouldn't think it would be too effective, but it's actually really nice. I'm going to get closer to the camera so I can actually show you what it looks like. So... So yeah, there's a post in front, peep in back, and you can get the whole idea right there. So it's actually very, very helpful. Um, I'll give you a cool look of what this gun looks like while I'm close. So the gun is very, very long. And I'll also show you a, a better viewing of what I meant earlier by this being cocked. Then you pull the trigger. It's no longer there. Also, show you the safety while I'm up closer to the gun. Uh, the safety is right here. It works right on your thumb. It's actually very easy to reach if you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, it's a little bit harder to reach because your thumb will have to reach across, but you can still reach it. Uh, when it is not cocked, you cannot pull the safety back. If the safety is just stuck in place, you can't do anything with it. When you cock it, you can pull the safety back. Uh, it locks the trigger in place. You can't really pull the trigger past where it would normally release, and it completely disables it. Take the safety off, and you can fire. The hop up is right here. Uh, we'll get back closer to the camera again. It's this piece right here. You simply can turn it. It doesn't need any tools to turn. Simply clicks in. We found it to be very nice. It doesn't need any tools, but this does have an Allen wrench hole here if you wanted to do that. You don't really need to, so... Yeah. But, that's where the hop-up is adjusted. We found the hop-up be very nice and very effective with this gun. Uh, the magazine, which the mag release is right on the trigger guard right up here, uh, you cannot take the magazine out unless the bolt is back. Once the bolt's back, you can push up on the trigger guard right here, which is the mag release, and it comes out pretty easily. The mag itself is where the gas goes. The gas goes right in there, that's where the gas valve is. 
This is actually where the hammer, or where the, where it hits it right here, the trigger hits that, which is what makes it release all the gas, and this is where the BBs go. Uh, this magazine can hold 10 plus 1 in the chamber. It's double stacked, but it doesn't hold too much, so we would recommend getting another magazine. Uh, we have a drop down option on our website. The magazines are not not too expensive, not too cheap. Um, if anything, they'd, I'd be leaning a little bit more towards decently expensive. Uh, the reason for that is these are pretty heavy. Um, they are full metal. The whole thing here is basically a gas valve. It holds a lot of gas. This gun is very gas efficient, and it's very strong. So these are pretty hefty metal, hefty metal. But you'll be needing to get another one, which will come in little tiny boxes like this. But you'll be needing to be getting another one uh, with it, and we have a drop-down option on our website. Uh, to put the magazine back in, you simply push it in, clicks in place, and you're ready to fire. So, I personally myself am not a big fan of bolt-action rifles. Um, I personally myself am more am on the lines of assault, so I need something that's full auto and semi-automatic. However, if you're going to be an actual sniper, this is actually a very, very good choice for you. It's very accurate, very gas effective. If you have more than one magazine, you can easily load up one if your other one manages to get out. And the magazines last slightly longer than you would assume. Um, the bolt is easy to pull. The gun is very comfortable. The trigger isn't hard to pull at all. But it's pretty it feels pretty perfect. And this gun is strong and very accurate. So overall for a sniper, this is definitely what you are looking for. It's almost direct on with what you will need. So that is the end of the review of the KJW M700. Uh, full information on this and the video information, click on the link down there and you can get full videos including accuracy test and chrono of this gun which is the KJW M700. So that has been Red Dragon Airsoft's review. I'll see you next video.